Here at Computex 2018 in Taiwan, Qualcomm is unveiling a new chip called the Snapdragon 850. It is a purpose-built processor for Windows on Snapdragon devices. And if you remember, last year is the first time at Computex that we heard about Windows on Snapdragon devices. Back then, the PCs were built using Snapdragon 835, really a, a chip that was kind of built for smartphones and then stuffed into laptop or convertible bodies. This time around, the 850 takes advantage of all that extra space you'll find in a laptop or a convertible's body and gets up to higher clock speeds because it can dissipate heat much better in a larger form. One of the benefits of the new chip, in addition to 30% faster performance all around and five extra hours of battery life, is native 64-bit app support. Now that's of course not thanks to Qualcomm, but because of Microsoft having announced that feature at Build earlier this year, but we have a reference design of a Snapdragon 850-powered device here playing a 64-bit game. And during my testing, this was pretty smooth. I'm not familiar with this game. I don't know how it stacks up compared to other devices. But I had no issue at all trying to take down a spaceship by rapidly clicking on a mouse pad. We also tried out other games, 32-bit versions of them, on some other reference designs. Those were very zippy, no lag whatsoever. I also lightly edited a picture on Adobe Photoshop on this reference design uh, device, found it pretty smooth, editing it didn't throw up any major lag at all. So as long as you're not doing anything too intensive, the Snapdragon 850 devices should hold up for some photo editing. On these reference designs, we've got 2K displays. Uh, the new Snapdragon 850 chip is, can support HDR screens, so you get richer colors and more depth. Uh, it also enables 4K capture. You might think that that's, you know, not something that people want to do with their laptops or two-in-ones, but Qualcomm thinks that given the way people are video conferencing these days and maybe doing web tutorials and stuff like that, this is a feature that might eventually become popular. Now, if you remember, last Computex was the first time we heard about Windows on Snapdragon, and earlier this year, Asus, Lenovo, and HP launched their own devices using the Snapdragon 835 chipset. Those devices could last about 20 hours. With the Snapdragon 850, we're expecting about 25 hours of juice. On the 850, you'll also find an X20 LTE modem, which gets you up to 1.2 gigabits per second of data transfers. It's also supposed to work on more carriers than before. Qualcomm also wants to remind us how Windows on Snapdragon is different from some of the other connected PCs out there. What Windows on Snapdragon offers that's really different here is the connected standby mode. We also saw a demo of a Skype call being made to a competitor device and a Snapdragon 835 device. And in sleep mode, only the Snapdragon 835 woke up when it was being called, whereas the other we shall not name uh, device did not react at all. Finally, Qualcomm also showed us some thermal comparisons between its arrival device and its own. And you can see from the heat map here that the competitor's device got really hot uh, after about 30 minutes of playing Asphalt 8 on loop, whereas the Snapdragon-powered device remained relatively cool. No actual laptops or PCs have actually been announced uh, with the Snapdragon 850 just yet. This is really just the launch of the processor, but we're expecting to see more later this year. When that happens, we'll hopefully see more powerful, always-on, always-connected PCs that I will be very happy to take with me on all my trips and in the backs of cabs to do my work from everywhere I go.